You know, someone yesterday tweeted uh, that on the Wagala massacre, this could happen anywhere. Today or yesterday or that 31 years ago, it was in Wajir with the Somalis. Tomorrow it could be your people. Do you share that kind of a concern that, yes, this is what, three decades ago, so some people, it's some history they're talking about and learning that didn't experience or live through. Uh, but do you think this is a real concern in as far as it could happen in modern day Kenya? I think it is. It could not only happen; it may actually be happening. You see, it may be. be oh. You see, the, 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 what happened in Capedo? Mm -hmm. After okay, this was, this was a tragedy in which uh, uh, so, uh, some of our policemen were killed, and yes. that was a very bad thing. But how did we react to it? Mm -hmm. The reaction was almost similar to Agala Masaka. We go and collect people and start beating them up, mm -hmm. burning businesses. You know, you are creating more enemies uh, among the population by, mm -hmm. by, by doing that. How did the how did people react to what was happening in Mount Elgon? Almost the same uh, similar fashion. So mm -hmm. the the reaction to insecurity in this country is the same. It's exactly the same. The magnitude might not be as much as the Ogala massacre. That might have been a, a you know yeah one of a kind yeah one of a kind. But there is no assurance that it will not happen to anybody. There is no assurance that it will not happen to even the largest com communities in, in, in this country. Mm -hmm. People think that, okay, Somalis are a marginal community. They live in, in the wild north. You know, they, they speak a very funny language. Mm -hmm. they, they subscribe to some other god. You know, you understand? That you, can yes. even, you can even rationalize this. Whatever happened to them, they may have deserved it. Mm 